welcome to the You Are Home live su su tour. Wow, we lost that word. Um, we're going to talk today a little bit about leadership and housing student leadership in particular. And we are here. Um, I'm Cecily. I'm the student leadership coordinator in housing. I'm Megan. I'm an assistant director for residence education. And I'm Caroline. I'm the student le student leadership intern for the summer. And we just want to kick off our, our home or our You Are Home live series with leadership. We're here at the housing building. We're right beside the bookstore. Um, if you ever need something from us, you can come on over. Um, we'll give you a little bit of a tour before we get started. Um, but before we go in, I also want to introduce Emily, our um, lady behind the camera, who is amazing. She's going to give you a little <laughs> preview there. Hello, Emily. Was making it in. There we go. <laughs> We'd also encourage you to ask questions in the chat. If you have anything that you're curious about um, regarding student leadership, just ask it. No question is silly. Um, we're all we're all in here together. So we'll just head on, on inside. Welcome to the housing building. You'll come in, and this is the front desk. Debbie, he knows everything. And so always feel okay. free to stop in and say hi. There, right? And when you come in, you're actually going to come down this far hallway. There are four different units in the housing department. Our unit is residence education, so that's the one you're looking for. And you'll come down in here. The staff who are in this hallway work with our staff in the halls. And so you'll see a lot of us at move-in or at events in the halls and lots of different things throughout the year. And then if you have any questions about Lead Hogs, RSC, NRHH, um, just getting involved on campus, you can come on by. Um, you probably got in some emails from me about Lead Hogs, but this is where all the magic happens. This is my office. If you ever need someone um, or you just need to come talk to me in person, you're always welcome to stop by. And then around the corner is where more magic happens. This is kind of our student leadership area. Um, but the first thing we want to talk about is lead hogs. This is probably one of the first things that you've heard about in regards to student leadership for on-campus students. And lead hogs is our leadership development organization for on-campus students. So if you're a freshman on campus, you're a transfer student, you're a returning student, this program is for you. Um, our freshmen take part in our lead hogs program and then our upperclassmen take part in lead more. So um, I, as a lead hog, you'll do things like participate in um, team building activities with your group and of in-hall lead hogs. You'll do things like attend leadership development sessions with speakers, do activities. Um, if you're in the chat and want to answer the question, um, what would your leadership, if you were an animal that had to represent your leadership style, what would it be? Feel free to put it in there. Um, we will do a formal leadership session on um, if your leadership style was an animal, what would it be? We'll talk about that at our first, um, one of our first lead hogs meetings. So Lead Hogs is a great way to get involved. It's a great way to meet people. It's a great way to start getting professional development opportunities under your belt. Um, you'll do things like um, build your resume. You'll make connections with staff members, student staff members, um, employers. It really depends on what you want your experience to be. We're always here to help um, further your leadership experience. You'll get to do things like plan programs, do community service, and um, it's, it's really, like I said, it's very much about what you make it as a student. So every um, hall has an in-hall group. So if, let's say we have someone here from Yoakum. You will meet with Yoakum Lead Hogs um, a lot of times. Then sometimes you'll meet with maybe your neighborhood, which will be um, Yoakum, Humphreys, Gibson, and Founders. So that will be your neighborhood. There will be some meetings like that. And then sometimes you'll meet with all of campus for a meeting like I talked about earlier, the Yuzu Animal Leadership Style one. So um, in those, there'll be lots of different opportunities to connect. The other thing we want to talk about is um, how to apply. So if you're interested in applying, you can go on our HogSync webpage. There's a little preview here. Um, if you ever want more information, you can go to our website. There's information about your advisors, what the schedule is going to look like. And then um, if you go to next steps, then you can end up at the application. So the priority deadline for our application is going to be July 21st. Um, you can apply any time throughout the year, but if you apply before the 21st, then you'll be able to participate in move-in volunteering. You'll get a t-shirt. You'll be able to participate in our orientation. Um, so that's our priority deadline. But and have we had a few questions come in? Yeah. Yeah, we have cool. a couple of comments. And even one, uh, one or two animals. AK <gasps> Dooley 1 says, 
Mine would be a bearded dragon. I <laughs> knew it funny. would be. I, that, that makes sense. Okay. And then Jet Black Maddie says, how often are meetings? Every Monday night at 6 o'clock. That's a great question. We try to keep it consistent. Um, there's a few halls who accommodate for our Greek students who will be meeting on Tuesday nights as well, um, but mainly Monday nights for most of our students. Christina says, what can students in Lee Hogs expect on move-in day? Great question. So a few things, I'm gonna back up a little bit and I'm gonna go more of what you can expect if you've applied or you plan to apply and get accepted. So once you're accepted, you'll get an email from me um, and you'll slowly get more and more information. But the first thing is you're gonna move in. You're gonna move in early, either on the 11th or the 12th. If you're in Hots Hall, you can move in on the 11th and then the 12th is when everyone else can move in. Um, you will attend an orientation where you get to know more about what Lead Hogs is. You'll meet your advisors. You'll meet the people that are in your Lead Hogs in your hall all across campus. You'll do some get to know you activities. So just kind of get you oriented when you first get here. And then from there, um, you will have already signed up for a move-in volunteer shift by the time you get here. Um, every Lead Hog is encouraged to sign up for up to four hours, um, four hours or more of move-in volunteering. And so we'll teach you at orientation what that's going to look like. But the next day, typically, you're gonna have two to four hours of volunteering where you'll get to do things like help families move in boxes. You'll get to check out equipment. You may be working in the elevator to move people up and down. Um, you could really be doing a lot of different things, maybe giving people directions um, for the move-in process, et cetera. So um, it's a really fun time. You get to know people super well because you're just bonding over like just the journey of move-in. It's chaotic, but it's so fun because everyone's excited. Um, it's just, there's a lot of energy during move-in. How many lead hogs are there? Um, currently, we have 250 who've been accepted. Um, the amount per hall just depends on the building. Some buildings have 80, some people, some buildings have 10. It just depends on the group, um, but they're a um, really tight-knit community for you to be a part of. Aaliyah says, asks, what if we move in after orientation? Great question. Um, you can totally do that. I know for some families that is just not, you know, moving in on the weekdays is not the easiest thing. And so if you move in after, really what I would recommend is make sure you get signed up for a move-in volunteer shift because that's a really good way to get connected to your advisors, get connected to your building, to your chapter. Um, there's a group me for every hall. Um, make sure you get added to that group me so you can stay in communication with your hall. Um, and then you'll be able to participate um, in our locomotion event and our field day events. Those happen um, the week after move in. So Sunday and Tuesday we'll have those events. Uh, we recommend that you attend those because you really want to get a good start to your Lead Hogs, ex lead hogs experience by attending those. Um, but really, if you're moving in after the orientation, keep an eye on your email because that's where you're going to get most of your information versus the orientation. So. And when is the orientation again? Those are going to happen um, right uh, during the early, early move-in times, the evening of your move-in. So, Great question. was I answering any other questions in there? Um, Amari asks, I'm a lead hog freshman. How cool. do we sign up for the housing volunteer? Um, that will come soon. That has not been released yet. Once we hit that deadline for the application on the 21st, then we'll start signing up for move-in shifts. Great question. You all are on it. You're on it. I knew it. Um, but yeah, that's the biggest thing. So move-in volunteering will happen. And then Sunday after that, you'll have field day, which is a super fun activity, day full of activities. Actually, I guess it'll be the evening. Um, you'll be in teams. You'll do um, challenges, mental, physical, um, all those fun things. And then that next Tuesday, you'll get to go to Locomotion, which is a family fun center here in Fayetteville. You have go-karts. you got mini golf. Um, that's a really fun way to get to know people as well. So you have a couple things to look forward to, and then after that, um, we have other opportunities to get involved, but that's kind of our kickoff events. So um, if you're thinking about applying, you've already applied, awesome. Remember, you can find our application on our leadhogs at uark.edu. We also have some Instagram live sessions coming up. If you follow us on Instagram at UA leadhogs, um, then you can find more information more information about those lives as well as just like updates in general. So please follow us, UA Lead Hogs um, Instagram. The next thing is I'm going to kick it off to Caroline to talk about our certification that we have. So we have a leadership certification that we've been working on called Level Up. Um, it'll be a way for you to get acquainted with leadership opportunities on campus, um, learn how to get involved. It's also a great way to build your resume and you'll have a lot of like professional development. Sometimes, um, you know, you'll get to meet with someone from the Career Development Center. Sometimes you are going to, you know, go to certain like diversity lectures and things like that. So it's a way to 
acquaint yourself with campus, um, learn some things that you may not be learning in class, meet some people that you may not necessarily have had the opportunity to meet before. Um, it's self-paced, there's three levels, um, and we'll recognize you each time that you've achieved a level. Um, and then at the end, you'll get, you'll get a little certification, official signed and everything. This is um, one of our lead hogs who completed it last year. Um, so it's a great opportunity to learn and build your leadership skills and kind of find what type of leader you like to be and how you'd like to get involved on campus. And speaking of student leaders, we are gonna go this way into, this is the student leadership office. And we're going to talk about some of our fundraisers that benefit um, some of our programs. So one of our first fundraisers is um, our micro fridge rentals. Um, so this is a fridge freezer microwave unit um, and it will be, um, you can rent these online and then we'll deliver it right to your door. Um, so you don't have to worry about it. It's $1.99 for the whole year. Um, so it's perfect. You can split it with your roommate. Um, and it's just super convenient. One less thing you have to worry about. Um, and another thing is, um, our room essentials. Um, if you go to, um, the link in the bio of our lead hogs, Instagram, um, you can purchase certain things like bedding, um, organizational supplies, desk supplies, things like that to kind of dress up your room. Um, and you can order those and we'll deliver those right to your door. So again, super convenient. I highly recommend it. Um, it's, you know, one less thing you're gonna have to lug around on move-in day. And then our last, we'll go over here. Um, these are care packages. Um, so your parents and family members can choose to send you these. We have different packages. We've got, you know, some with like some fun junk food, some fun snacks. We've got some, you know, granola and nuts and things like that. We've got some that have games. So we do about five uh, per year and you can do, you know, pick and choose which ones you want and we'll deliver those right to you as well. Tell us a little bit about you. You're a uh, senior. Oh. Yes, I, so I'll be a senior. Um, I am going to be a, the senior resident assistant in the quad. Um, so I've been, this will be my third year being an RA. I love living on campus, and I'm not just saying that. Um, so yeah, I really like it, and I'm so excited to meet everybody. Do we have any more questions in the chat? Not currently. All right, if you come up with them, ask us. And you yeah. can tell us where you're, uh, where you're signing in from, too. Are you here in Arkansas? Are you Texas, oh, Oklahoma, I'm Texas. from the Dallas area, Plano, um, if you know it. So, yeah, I love it here so much. I love mountains and hiking and being outside, so it's, like, really the perfect place to be. Is it different than Dallas? Oh, my gosh, so much different <laughs> than Dallas. The landscape is different. Um, so I came from, like, the suburbs, and so it's nice to kind of be, like, around a lot of, like, trees and greenery and stuff like that. So, yeah, I love it. Cool. Well, no other questions? Then we will go into RC. Yeah. So we have a student government here on campus just for students who live in the residence hall called Residence Inner Hall Congress, or we call it RIC for short. So we have this organization specifically for our on-campus residents. The tagline is the voice of the on-campus student. So it's a great introduction to student leadership and just like representative government on a kind of smaller scale. And um, we also have associated student government, which is the student government for all of campus, all students who attend the University of Arkansas. So ours is just that subset of particularly people who are, are living on campus. Um, and we do lots of things throughout the year. So they put on events, um, they help sponsor different programs around campus, they help us um, to fund some of the hall improvements around. So for example, if a hall is like, I really wish we had a ping pong table, um, that's something where some the RIC reps in the halls can put together a funding request and submit that to the student government and get funding to purchase a pool table or a ping pong table, something like that. So we do have a couple different levels of RIC. So it's modeled after the U.S. government. So we have a House of Representatives that's made up of students who live in the halls. So that's going to be you. So you can actually run for a spot in RIC in the House. Um, the first couple weeks that you're here on campus. So you'll learn a little bit more about that in the Lead Hogs orientation, but then also uh, when you meet in hall with your advisors for the first time, they're gonna talk about what the process for running looks like, um, which it's really, it sounds kind of intimidating, but it's not that bad. 
you just give like a short why, like a little speech of why you're interested, and then your peers vote um, on the people they want to represent them. And then you will meet on Monday nights after Lee Hogs is when the RIC House meets. Um, and so they get together and they, t they talk through some of these funding requests or other um, things that are impacting students. So sometimes there are things that are happening maybe around town or on campus where students have an opinion and they want to put out like a formal opinion saying, this is what we the students believe the leadership of the university should be doing about this particular topic. Um, and so they can kind of formalize that and put that out and say, this is what we believe we should be doing from the student voice. So it's a great way to advocate for yourself and your peers um, on campus. We also have an exec team within RIC. So these are returning students who live on campus as well. And we have nine different people on the exec board. So we have a president and then we have some other um, people within that cabinet. So things like um, director of sustainability or um, director of programs. We have um, a volunteer coordinator who does volunteer activities. So lots of different opportunities. That's again, once you're involved in lead hogs, you have the opportunity to get involved in RIC as a house member. But then after you've served in one of those roles, you can also um, apply for or run for an executive member um, when you're a returning student. So that's a great way to get involved um, and start that if you want kind of a, an intro level to student government on campus is a great stepping stone um, into other representative roles. Um, we have a question from yeah. Francesca. How do we find the group me for the lead hogs? Great question. That will be started once you get to campus. So when you go through your orientation, you'll typically meet with your group of lead hogs for your in-hall afterwards, and that's when you'll start your group me. So you don't need to look out for anything until you get here for your group me. Keep an eye on your email though. Yeah. And then uh, if you haven't heard yet, there's a new initiative happening for first year students that are coming to campus this fall called Pick One. And it's an initiative getting students to get involved before they even step on campus. Um, so you'll start seeing a little bit more about that on social media and maybe get an email or two about it. But incoming students can pick one organization that they are interested in to start getting uh, involved before they get here. RIC is one of the organizations you can pick as part of Pick One. So if you're interested in learning more about that, the Pick One program is going to introduce you to RIC, walk you through the elections process, and just give you more um, access to what that organization does throughout the year. Um, that's not to say if you decide you want to pick one and do a different organization, you can still run for RIC, but this is a great way, the pick one organization is, is a great way to get your foot in the door and hear a little bit more about the opportunity of RIC. Uh, we have another question. When will we know if we got accepted into a pick one organization? I think it's after August 1st. Yeah, I think August 1st is the deadline and then um, probably sometime that week or the week after. Um, you should know uh, if you were accepted before you move in because the orientation for those, um, I believe, is August 10th. Mm -hmm. So um, probably that week before you'll hear which organization you're going to be a part of. So. Any other questions? No. no cool. No. Okay. Well, anything else for RAC before we move on to NRHH? Okay. So another organization that housing oversees is our NRHH program. So. It's an organization that's student-led, once again, and it's the National Residence Hall Honorary. So it's a group of students who um, put on service projects and they're also over our recognition initiatives on campus. So service, pretty self-explanatory. You go out, you serve your community, serve the on-campus population. Recognition, maybe a little bit more um, ambiguous, but really what it is is we wanna have a culture on campus where we recognize the people who are working hard and making a difference on our campus. So let's say Caroline puts on an awesome program. She does a really cool event for her residence hall. She's a lead hog, we'll say that. Um, and I could write a of the month award um, nomination for her. And so then she could be recognized. Um, she may win that award at, at campus level, regional level, et cetera. And really that organization, NRHH, oversees that process and makes sure that we recognize the people on campus who are um, doing good things for our campus. So um, look out for service opportunities and look out for recognition opportunities. And then as you get to campus, um, you can get involved in the organization, but just keep an eye out um, for those initiatives. They also have an exec board as well. So you can be a member. And then if you're like, hey, I want a leadership opportunity a little later, that's something you can consider as well. So um, I think that's it for OT or for NRHH. So I'm gonna pass it back to Megan for RHH, unless I forgot something. 
So the last thing we want to talk to you about today is the resident assistant position. Um, the RA position, a lot of you have probably heard about it. Um, these are student leaders that are upperclassmen that live in the halls with our incoming students. So we have at least one RA per floor in all of our on-campus residence halls. Um, and they are there to serve as a resource for you. Um, they are upperclassmen who have been where you are going to be this fall. They have a wealth of information. They're there to connect you to each other. They put on fun events. Um, you can even come up with ideas for events that you want to do or things you want to go to and tell your RA, and they can oftentimes get funding and make that happen. So they're there to make the magic happen for you guys. Um, so that is something um, that once you have lived on campus, you can actually apply to be an RA. So we will have mandatory interest sessions this fall in September and October, uh, and you have to attend you have to attend one of those sessions to learn more about the um, the position and then you can apply and applications will be due in November and those positions the interviews will happen in the spring those positions will start in fall of 2022 so you express your interest this fall apply then interview so it's a little bit of a long process but um, really this is one of the most developmental student leadership positions on campus um, we have students who express their interest freshman year, and then they stay with us through their senior year. People like Caroline, um, who are great leaders with us. So if you're interested in that, also um, be on the lookout. You can follow us online um, at UARCRA on Instagram, and they will have more information posted in the fall about how to get involved in the RA process. Cool. Well, that's it for our segment. Um, this is the first of many tours. And so um, upcoming, we have all the residence hall tours. We're gonna start with the Dohi tomorrow. Um, you can tune in and find the schedule on the move-in website at movein at uark.edu. And um, keep a lookout for those. On top of the residence hall ones, we also have some special interest areas, such as Chartwell's Dining. We'll have a one about move-in. So if you're curious about that process, you can tune in. So thanks for joining us today. Um, are there any other questions before we get out of here? then we should be good. Okay, if you have any other questions, you can always email us at housing at uark.edu. They will get a hold of us. They'll forward the email to us. But um, we're happy you're here, and we'll see you soon.